Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this section, we will design the popular posts and the contact section of our website. So let's get started. Now before getting started, let me just clear some confusion you might have. So right now we are designing this uh, blogger template using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now what we are designing is not dynamic so we cannot use this directly in our blogger template because blogger template is built using a language called XML. So you have to write XML code to create a blogger theme. Now we will be writing XML code in the later part of our course and everything that we designed up till now the CSS, the HTML and the JavaScript can become handy for our design. So we can simply copy and paste the CSS that we have right now in our design to the blogger XML file. And we just need to make some minor changes in the CSS and uh, the blogger theme will look exactly like our design. So that's the reason why we are designing everything first and then we'll use this CSS code in our blogger template. Alright, so let's get started with the popular post section. So if you scroll down in our design, we can see that we have this popular post section over here. And before that, we also have this uh, links for the home and the older posts. But we'll design this when we write the XML of our blogger template. This has some simple lines of CSS. We just need to add the box shadow and uh, we need to make some minor changes in the CSS. So we'll do this when we write the XML. All right, right now we'll start with the popular post section. So let's go to our source code and uh, here we can see this is the code that we have right now. This is the end of the block section. We have already opened the wrapper division. So if you scroll up, we can see that we have started the wrapper division over here and uh, it ends right here. So we can directly start our popular post section inside the wrapper division because uh, we have the same width for the popular section as well. So let's copy this comment from here and we'll paste it after the section. So this is where the blog section ends. Now here we will start with the popular post section. So let's create a division with a class of popular post container. And in that we'll create an H2 and uh, we'll just type popular posts. And let's go back to our uh, browser. And here we can see we have our uh, H2 and we already have the design because we had already written the CSS for the H2 over here. So it gets applied to all the H2s in our uh, website. Right, so the next thing is uh, we'll create a division with a class of popular posts. And in that we'll create three popular posts. And for each of the posts, we will create a division with a class of popular post. And in the popular post, we have the thumbnail and the title. So here we will create a division with a class of thumbnail. And in that we'll have the thumbnail images slash popular post one dot jpg. And then we have the heading. So we'll create an S3 with a class of title. And uh, we'll just type a title over here. All right, so here we have the thumbnail and the title. We'll just copy this uh, popular post and uh, paste it two more times. And for the second one, we have popular post 2. And for the third one, we have the image popular post 3.jpg. So that's it with the HTML of the popular post section. So let's go over here and add a comment. End of popular post section. And then we also have the contact us section. So we'll just write the HTML of the contact us section as well. And after that, we'll write the CSS. So for the contact us section, we'll create a division with a class of contact container. And, uh, and that will create an H2. We'll type contact us. So here we have the contact us section. Then we'll create a form. We'll just leave the action as blank. And in that we'll have an input tag with a type of text. And we'll also give it a placeholder of full name. And uh, then we have one more input tag with a type of text and uh, here we have the placeholder email and then lastly we have a text area and for the text area we have a placeholder 
and it will be your message and then lastly we have an input with the type of submit this will be for the button and the value will be send so this is what will be written on the button so here we have uh, the two text input fields and then we have a text area and then we have this button all right so now let's go ahead and style this using css let's create a comment popular posts so i'll target the division called popular posts container and we'll give it a box shadow of 0 pixels 4 pixels 13 pixels negative 3 pixels and rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.2 we cannot see the shadow clearly so first of all we will decrease the size of the images so that we can see what is going on so let's target the images we'll type popular post thumbnail img and we'll set the width to 100% and we'll set the height to 160 pixels and object fit to cover so that it will have the correct proportions All right now we need to display three popular posts in one line so for that let's uh, target this uh, division that we have over here called uh, popular posts we'll set the display of uh, this division to flex so that all the items will be one next to the other so let's type popular posts container popular posts and we'll set the display to flex all right so now we have three posts one next to the other now let's uh, add some more styles to the popular post container we will add uh, we will add a padding of 32 pixels and we'll also add a margin top of 100 pixels now for each of the popular posts let's set a margin left and margin right so here we will type popular post and uh, we will set a margin of 0 for top and bottom and 8 pixels for left and right so we have some gap between these posts now let's style the s3 so let's type popular post s3 dot title and we'll set the font family to dancing script and uh, we'll also set the font size to 26 pixels and also a margin top of 16 pixels so I think that's basically it with the popular post section now let's target the contact us section so let's add a comment and we'll type contact container and let's set a margin top of 100 pixels and let's set the same box shadow and we'll also add the padding so let's copy these two from here and add it over here Right, now we need to display all these uh, input fields one below the other so let's type contact container form and we set the display to flex and also the flex direction to column now we can see all the fields are displayed one below the other now let's style the input fields so contact container form input of type text and also contact container form text area so for both of these elements let's add some styles we'll set a padding of 8 pixels and 24 pixels and we'll also set the font family to roboto and uh, we'll add a margin bottom of 10 pixels now let's style the submit button so we'll type contact container form input of type submit and we'll set a background color of 06 f 0 ff we'll set the width to 150 pixels and we'll add a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom 24 pixels left and right and we'll also remove the border and we'll set the font weight to bold and also the font size to 16 pixels so that's it with the contact us section in this section we designed uh, the popular post and the contact us uh, sections
So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.